Last Thursday, on the 5th of February, Harlow Council approved its budget for the year starting in April. I'm really pleased that despite another significant cut in central government funding and having to save £1.5 million in the coming year, we've achieved a balanced budget, responded to residents' priorities, protected all services and invested in the future of Harlow. In the budget consultation, you said that parks and playgrounds, grass cutting, street cleaning and waste and recycling collections were important to you. Spending on all these areas has been protected. In addition to the budget proposals, we'll be reinvesting savings within the Keir contract in new grass cutting tractors and increased staff to make further improvements to how the town's green spaces are maintained, making a positive and visible difference. You also said that regeneration of the town and economic development were important to you. Significant progress is being made on the Enterprise Zone, improvements to the town park have started and we've started building the first new council houses in a generation. In this budget, to support you and small businesses, we're freezing car park charges again, including the free hour to help neighbourhood shopping centres. We're also creating a £1 million regeneration fund, along with funding additional staff to drive forward the regeneration of the town centre, investing in the future of Harlow. Not only are we protecting services you value, no services will be closed or cuts made which will impact you. While funding reductions make it harder and harder to maintain services, the Council is committed to doing all it can to meet the needs of the people of Harlow. We also know from petitions, surveys and many, many conversations directly with residents that Essex County Council's decision to turn off the streetlights between midnight and 5am was deeply unpopular. There are many people working shifts, including staff at the hospital, as well as a vibrant nighttime economy. These people don't want to be walking home or to work in the pitch black. The AA found that accidents are greater on onlit roads, and an Essex-wide survey found that more than half of people don't feel safe going out after dark. Therefore, it's right that Harlow Council takes action to reverse Essex Council's decision to turn the, the lights off. While we would have preferred for Essex County Council to invest in low-energy lighting, which is cheaper to run and maintain, we're responding to the overwhelming views, views of residents. Harlow Council will pay Essex County Council to turn the lights back on, funded by a 1.5% increase in Harlow Council's element of the council tax. This will cost the average household just an extra 7 pence per week. While we have to sort out the detail, we would expect Essex County Council to accept Harlow's proposal and turn the streetlights back on from April. Taking a short-term freeze grant from central government to partly fund this would simply make the financial challenges the council still faces significantly worse and is not sustainable. Clearly one of the biggest concerns for residents is the impact of unauthorised and illegal encampments. The council is continuing to do all it can under the current law and have asked government to strengthen the law to, change the to give the council the tools to do the job as well as actively exploring longer term legal solutions. While the cost of dealing with unauthorised encampments is significant, this is being managed within existing budgets and are not the cause of the increase in council tax. Extra resources are not the answer and would make no difference to the issues of law and evidence from witnesses. I have, however, made it clear that money would be made available if needed from reserves. Other measures in the budget have reduced the cost of senior management and cut cabinet members' allowances, already some of the lowest in the region, by 5%. Finally, we have protected popular services such as the Paddling Pools and Pets Corner, providing funding until at least 2019, and we have increased the funding for Contact Harlow, making it easier to get in touch with the Council. I'd like to thank Council staff and members of my Cabinet who have worked incredibly hard to get to this point. The result is a budget that responds to residents' priorities, invests in the future, and will make a positive and visible difference to Harlow. Thank you.